This is Auto House Hamilton TV. I'm James and them's the brakes, or at least some of the brakes. Porsche was one of the early adopters of disc brakes in road cars. And beyond that, Porsche was very much one of the early adopters of four wheel disc brakes in road cars. And for this video, what I'll be talking about is how brake discs have changed over the years. And we'll start with a, with a brake disc that would have been used on a late 356 or an early 911. This is a solid brake disc. There's nothing to it other than the fact that it is a disc of metal. It's covered in an anti-corrosion coating so that the parts of the disc that aren't used as friction surfaces don't rust. Uh, not much of a big deal with, with early cars, but with current wheel designs where a lot of the brake disc is visible, you don't want something rusty and uh, unpleasant looking tucked away behind the wheel where it can be seen. So that's a solid brake disc. And what I mean by solid brake disc will become a bit clearer when we look at the next brake disc, which is a vented disc. And what we have here is a rear brake disc from a 3.2 Carrera. This is a vented disc. So now we have two separate brake surfaces uh, that are separated with uh, veins between them. And the reason for that is to allow for uh, better heat dispersion. So the, the whole idea of a brake, any braking system, is to convert the energy of motion into heat energy. And in order to do that effectively, that heat needs to be dispersed. So by venting the disc, you get a lot more surface area from which that heat can dissipate. Also worth pointing out is that Porsche needed to find a way uh, in the early days of uh, brake disc technology to come up with a workable handbrake. And to do that, they built effectively, the disc is built onto a drum. So if you look on the, on the inside, you can see the, the surface here that I'm indicating, and that's where the handbrake shoes uh, hold the car steady. At this point, I'm questioning the wisdom of shooting this video because holding up brake discs gets uh, very tiring very quickly. But the next brake disc that I'd like to show you is a drilled brake disc. So this is from a Boxster S. It's a vented disc. Uh, we're still using the same technology that, we've, that Porsche have used from, from the get-go of having a braking surface in a drum as part of the disc assembly. And now what's changed is that the disc is drilled. So these holes are designed to improve outgassing from the pad. What the hell is outgassing from the pad? When the brakes are employed, they generate heat. And one of the byproducts of that heat is that gases are given off from the brake pad. The idea of, of having holes drilled in the surface of the brake disc is to allow those gases a way to escape. And we want those gases to, to escape because if they're trapped between the disc and the pad, then that's going to interfere with braking efficiency. So that's the reason why we have drilled brake discs. But the other reason is to do with appearance because they look cool, they look sporty. Okay, the next brake disc that I'm gonna show you is a front brake disc as used on a 996 Carrera or a 986 Boxster S. And what changes here is that the brakes are handed, which is to say there's a left brake disc and a right brake disc. And part of that is that the, the holes now have a distinct pattern to them so that the, the brake discs left and right appear different with the uh, lines of holes radiating out from the center. The other construction technique that Porsche used in some models, notably 993 Turbo, and some years of the 930 was a construction where the, the central hat section and the friction disc were manufactured separately and then fastened to one another. So there you have it. As promised, them's the brakes. Thank you very much for watching. 